Greetings to everyone. In this video, I will be about University of Rome, Foro Italico. So this video is being requested by one of us, our sisters. Okay. So she had uh, said about making a video on physical activity in health, master's degree. So let me tell you that uh, this course is of two years. This is international. And what you can do is you can contact the respected professor and you can go through this website. I'll put this link in the description box for you to find out. So these are the program structure. Okay. The next is the professional outlets. Requirements for access. Number one, let me tell you knowledge of main biological and biochemical processes basic knowledge of the biomechanics of movement basic knowledge in the psychological and pedagogical field basic knowledge of motor techniques and te uh, teaching method methodologies and english level either b2 or c1 okay so th since this is a uh, this is an international program the required level is b2 or c1 this is the uh, curriculum CFU and the subjects that you will be studying once you get admitted. Fine. So here it is written that 2020 to 2021 which means that uh, they have not opened the floor for the session 2021 to 2022. Okay. They have not opened it. So you can go through this once and check uh, and prepare yourself accordingly done so this uh, is all about uh, university of rome for a talico next thing i, I want to tell you about uh, um, this about summer internships or winter internships okay so let me tell you that uh, um, summer internships are offered by many of the universities including um, including sapienza uh, Sapienza, Bologna, they offer Rome Tor Vargata. But this year, what happened that due to pandemic, they have, I think, abrogated uh, or abolished all the, the summer courses. Okay. So many of you um, have been thinking to apply for one to two month summer courses so that it can be added to your CV. So I think um, I have checked these universities. If you have any other university that is, uh, that is offering winter courses or summer courses, so um, just drop down in the comment section so that other um, students call, uh, could also be helped with this. Okay. So next uh, topic that I want to bring light upon is about the about the internships. So many of the students who have got admitted in uh, this session. Uh, so now they are searching for the internships, be it paid or non-paid. Basically, they are searching for paid. So I would recommend you to apply for US. Yes, uh, make sure that uh, uh, try to get the um, internship from US because uh, what happens that once you get internship from US, then you will be get preferred in uh, up, uh, in your upcoming endeavors. Uh, okay, because what happens when you are an Indian, I'm talking about Indian, then they'll prefer you when you have something, you, uh, you have done some courses from Europe. And if you are in Europe, then they'll prefer you uh, if you have done something from US. For example, if you visit uh, Sapienza's website, you will find uh, MIT lectures. So they are looking up to MIT. Why? Because uh, they have something, um, something more uh, than us or something additional than us. Fine. So I would recommend you to um, apply for internships from US. Uh, um, or if they are taking uh, other students, um, uh, students from other countries, and if not, uh, then apply in Europe as well. Done. Uh, next topic that I want to bring light upon is about the scholarship. Uh, so uh, I want to tell you that Lazio office is closed. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to... Um, get your uh, three scholarship documents plus your passport and your uh, proof of your enrollment that is your ceo ceo is your certificate of your enrollment i think ceo it is 
COE something like that it is okay so it is certificate of enrollment you have to submit all these documents in the lazio office um, i mean you have to post it because the office is, is closed so you what you have to do you have to post these documents done so uh, and when you see uh, when you get to see your payment status uh, then then your payment status would be yes and before seeing your payment status uh, just uh, convey your iban code to them after opening your bank account and also you have to submit your residence permit your residence permit i hope you all have applied uh, for residence permit till now you have to submit your residence permit along with your scholarship documents plus your passport plus your certificate of enrollment done so this was about uh, scholarship documents uh, uh, anything uh, so i guess uh, this is all for today and if i am forgetting something then i'll show sure be making a new video for you all and uh, just drop down in the comment section and dm me on insta or uh, uh, how are you feeling right now and what are your plans okay so stay blessed if you like this video consider me giving a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel tick that bell button and share it with your friends love you guys and stay blessed thank you